shout out to my man i'm so retro eyes mo retro and, uh, i'm so retro's channel retro booming want some more nigga hurt automatic auto automatics <laughs> in the trunk shoot the maggots shoot the maggots with the pump nothing is really confirmed in terms of archetypes in terms of the rep system no matter what videos you watch i have not watched any of them just because it's all speculation now based off those speculations of those videos i don't like to watch other people's like videos besides probably agents or something like that because i don't want like my idea my ideas to come from their ideas i want to be original so if i say some stuff that's in another video i really don't know because i don't be watching other people's videos so let's get into it so the first thing i want to talk about is if there's tri triple archetypes I, and the only reason why 2k would put triple archetypes in here is for the money they're not going back to pure that's that's already a given because money how many more builds can you make if there's triple archetypes right just like how there was double archetypes you know how many more builds you could make instead of having a just one primary slasher just like basic slasher like in 2k 17 the most you do is change it one more time to a shorter slasher or taller slasher with lighter weight that's the most you're gonna do next came the double which infinitely increased the amount of builds you can make and then if there's triple which could be good and which could be bad and here let me explain my theory of how triple archetypes would go all right so let's let's just pick a point guard i read from a title that they're gonna be nerfing like shot creators and stuff but shot creator is gonna be still a good build no matter what you do. Let's say, all right, let's say we do shot creating, primary, ball handling, secondary, let's say. So the primary archetype would get like the gold badges of that. The secondary would cause you to get silver badges of the secondary. And now it comes a tertiary. I feel like what that would do is give you like maybe two attribute points, maybe three towards that specific uh, specific category like say tertiary we'd put in slashing i feel like they'd only give you like two three extra points towards your dunks depending on what build you make and the badges for that they'll give you all the bronze badges of that archetype like they might go triple archetype route because people are going to say it's the same game again 2k18 if they don't do triple archetypes or if they do just pure archetypes which they will never go back to even though i liked pure archetypes also my theory would be since there would be tertiary archetypes they'll make your primary skill really pretty good your secondary decent and i feel like the lower the rest of your stats so whatever that tertiary is it'll put that stat back to what it should have been like like look at these dunks right here i feel like next year if i made this exact build as shot creating primary play making secondary I feel like the dunks would be down a couple points by default so i would have to put the dunk the um the slashing to boost my dunks up just to this point again you get me like whatever your archetype isn't is it's going to be trashing i feel like and you're going to need that tertiary just to be decent like to have a decent stat like leave a comment tell me how you would interpret the idea of triple archetypes and if this game is just going to be like 2k18 and which is going to be trash and uh peace y'all go make sure y'all go sub to eyes mo retro that's why i got it